In front of me here, disassembled and expanded onto this block is a 5 to 25 Titan. And if you look in the front here, this is our objective assembly. Now the objective assembly has one very important job and that's to gather light from whatever's in front of it and to magnify that image and focus it onto the first focal plane or front focal plane of your rifle scope which lies right here basically where the turrets are. On the Titan here if you look closely you'll see what at first looks like two lenses separated by a spacer ring. But if you zoom in you'll see that these two lenses are actually made up of two lenses each that are glued together. But why multiple lenses? Well, coming back to the original statement about the job of an objective being to focus light, we need to remember that different wavelengths of light refract differently, meaning that if we only used a single lens, we'd have red, green, and blue light arriving at different focal points. This is called chromatic aberration, and it can show up as purple or blue fringes around high contrast parts of an image. We can correct for this by adding more lenses. You can pair what's called crown and flint glass together to form an achromatic doublet with the convex flint glass and concave crown glass having different refractive indexes and they work together to correct for aberration. But you can take it even further and add more lenses and create an apochromatic lens which is a bit thicker, weighs a bit more but will correct your image a little bit better. Apochromatic lenses use three elements to bring red, blue and green light into focus, reducing chromatic aberration even further.